I got the uh, the stand my separation plug in from uh, from Akai today, which was a, a like a major pain to like to even just get it on here, to get it on 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 the machine here. Yeah, let's look at it. As you can see, it's right here. Where is it? Plug in, plug in, activation. Yeah, I got it like right here. It was a it was an actual pain just to get it on there, man. So I'm gonna start. I have never used anything like that before. I never really had any real use for that, but it cost like ten dollars. So I said, let me try it out. I give it a try. Like I said, I don't be sampling too much. I don't do much sampling at all. But uh, I mean, occasionally I might get some drums out of some uh, uh, some loops here and there. But occasionally I I don't I don't really sample. I just use whatever's in the machine. And um, I'm a, only thing I might sample is the drums. But as far as like melodies and things like that, I don't I don't ever bother with that. Anyhow. Let's go. I'm going to bring in the sample, let's see, to the machine here. Let me look for some songs, for a sound. And yeah, I don't know if I, I get away with using this, this sample here. This is uh, Fleetwood Mac from a song called Old Daddy. And, uh, I'm going to open up the sample and then just stop it. Okay. I dump it on this pad here, if you can see. I got it on this pad here. So I'm going to open it up. I'm gonna open it up and uh, we're gonna look. See, I'm gonna select a little sample, a little portion of it, of the sample. I'm working with a GoPro, GoPro here, so that's a little strange to work it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna select a little piece here to see how this thing actually work. Oh, daddy. There you go. I'm gonna select this little piece here. Right? Oh, daddy. That's all I need. I'm gonna keep it real simple, like really, really simple. I'm just gonna select a little portion. Let's go to the end here. Taking a little loop out of it actually. And see. Oh daddy. You soothe me with your sweet. Oh daddy. Let me oh, zoom daddy. in a little bit. Oh daddy. Oh, I'm gonna get it from old daddy. Oh daddy, oh daddy. Honestly, I've always wanted to get that. Oh, daddy. Okay, and it was always kind of hard to like get it by itself. So I'm gonna see if I can get it by itself tonight. All right, let's go here. I don't need anything else from this song. Even the drums are kind of crazy though. I ain't gonna lie. Like you could mess with these drums right here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna just take that piece out of there. Let's let's extract that out of there. Come on, machine. Let's extract that out. Out. I'm gonna name it something else. I'm gonna just call it Old Daddy, Old Dirty Harry, whatever. You know what I mean? Old Daddy or Dirty Harry, whatever. All right, let's do this. Boom. I'm gonna get rid of the rest. Of the rest of it. This is how I just get rid of it. I just reopen the sample, make it much easier for me. I, I'm sure some people work differently. They do their own thing. Me, I just do it this way. Let's get rid of the whole sample because I don't want to be taking up space on this machine here. Let's just delete that. Yeah, honestly, like to get that 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 plug in, it was so crazy because it wouldn't work. It just would not work for some oh, reason. Daddy. Okay. Right, I'm going back into sampling, editing. Okay, from here I can go to stem. Okay, right here. Which is kind of odd. Uh, all right, I'm gonna hit do it. Oh, it actually shows up on here as well on the on the on the machine here. So let's go. Boom, 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 boom. It's just, I, I was testing it out earlier. It was kind of hard to figure out where the samples went. I didn't understand that at all, man. I'm trying to figure where the sample went, where this went, where that went. It was just crazy. This is why I'm only going to just start, start it, you know, start it out this way. Okay, let's see the separation. Uh, that's enough of that. Let me see if they, how, I'm not sure how it separated. Like I said, okay, that's bass. Woo! What? What? Son. Nah, son. This, this is magic, bro. This is some Haitian voodoo, kid. 
This shit's crazy. Check it out. Let's take out the bass line out of it. What? I actually love that 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 bass sound. I ain't gonna. I always love that bass sound. Like boom 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 boom. That's dope. Yo, that's so crazy. Okay, that's one of the. I got. I got that from the sound. Okay, we just take it out. Magically take it out. I'm gonna go to the next uh, sound. Okay, we're gonna go up here. Actually, let's see the drum. Let's hear the drum. What? Nah. I music. Honestly, I think music is over because if anybody can just do this just like that, like you know what I'm saying, just break down the whole song. This is a this is a snare. You hear the, you hear the kicks like boom ah. What? All right, so I got the drums. Yo, I've, I've been I've been in this uh, music thing for many many years, man, and um. We couldn't do this back in the late 90s, early 2000s. If you had a sample that would just, you couldn't get something out of it. You could you could the crap out of it. Sometimes you just leave it alone or you just rock with it. This machine like this, this software is right here, saying, nah, you don't got to rock with it. Just remove it. This the guitar coming in. What? Damn. Yo, that is not even fair, man. Cause I've I've had to learn how to play my own instruments because like back then it was kind of hard to like, clear samples or you had to pay this one pay that one to clear samples. So I learned I actually learned how to play a little bit so I don't be sampling that much anymore. But I might just revisit that. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Check it out. Come on, bro. What? Come on, dude. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is break this down. Like. What? Well, my my hat's down to whoever invented these things. I love my MPCX. Like, I, I was using the Renaissance before. I started up with the. Honestly, I started way back with the LEN 9000. Then I moved up to the MPC. MPC one, the first MPC a uh, sixty, and then I had the MPC sixty two, and then the three thousand came out, which was which had the um, the waveform is simple in stereo, it was sixteen bay forty four point one, I just love that machine. It had like great, it had a great sound. It really had a very unique sound. I think it has it also has this process that a lot of people don't know about. It. I think it has a process called the A fifty or V fifty. It's like an AD converter inside. It's really, it's, it's a really good uh, AD converter. El Kai don't even, they, I don't think they have access to those uh, AD converters anymore. So this is why they're making this. They make the 2000, the MPC 2000, which sounded like, let's be honest, it sounded like shit. You had to like, I, I had the MPC 2000 lines. It didn't sound good. You had to beef up your sounds. When we go to the studio, you had to beef up the sounds and all that. So all that stuff is kind of crazy. Then, then they moved to the 4000, which was a little bit better. Then I had the 5000, which was kind of, I didn't like the 5,000 too much. There's too much things going on in there. The Renaissance was like a good start again for me. And then I move on to the MPCX now. And um, I'm still amazed by these machines, man. Listen to this, right? Let me see what else it take out. I guess that's, that's the only... All right. Well, let's, let's hear the vocals. All day. Oh, my God, bro. You soothe me with your smile. Yeah, just just imagine Wu Tang was they had access to all these vocals back there back in the nineties. Oh, daddy! Chica, chica. Oh, 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 daddy! That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Anyhow, I'm getting I'm gonna get up out of here, man. It's I'm gonna make some beats. And for those people who listen to my tracks, I appreciate you guys. All of my subscribers, I got about five or six thousand subscribers by now. I do appreciate you guys. Please, um. Uh, you know, drop a like on this video if you like it or not. If you don't like it, just hit the like twice. Okay? Oh, uh, you know, it is what it is. But I'm happy these things came out. And um, it's a good day to be alive. It's a good day to be a producer. Yeah, yeah. Peace out.